The Destructive Power of Minecraft TNT Ever since the inception of TNT in Minecraft Classic, not only have players found enjoyment in mindlessly destroying anything they desired, but a few others have found a more practical purpose for this destructive block. The Minecraft TNT Cannon is the true harmonization of explosives and practicality. Okay, maybe they're not all that practical, but they're super fun and super customizable. And today, we're going to be checking out a few of these cannons, ranging from tiny and simple to super massive and totally pointless unless you want to launch yourself into space and who doesn't want to do that so let's go ahead and let's check these out Starting off this video, let's start off with one of the earliest known cannons in all of Minecraft. In the earliest days of Minecraft, when users were still experimenting with the limitations of Minecraft, fellow block scientists like Kirshar developed the first cannons that Minecraft had ever seen. Using just a few cobblestone, a few buttons, a slab, water, and of course, redstone, in mid-2010, it was finally time to take TNT usage to the next level. Being able to trigger dozens of TNT on the exact same in-game tick is truly what allowed for way more possibilities than just setting them off like crazy and at random. And with this design, you could shoot other blocks of prime TNT over quite large distances. So whether you wanted to hollow out the side of a hill or prepare a preemptive strike against another base over a hill on a no rule survival server or something like that in the old school days of Minecraft, this machine is what gave you a definite advantage. But if 7 or 14 pieces of TNT wasn't enough for you, then why not just continue stacking up? As long as all of the TNT within the barrel of the cannon fired on the exact same tick, then the limit for how much TNT could be used at once was, well, as tall as you could make the cannon and still have it all fire all at once. By splitting one's redstone signal into two or more signals, not only could you shoot the TNT well beyond the distance of every single loaded chunk that you have loaded at any given moment, but now you you could quite easily launch players or mobs into space. So if you want to get revenge on that cow that just won't stop mooing outside of your base, then this was quite an exciting and explosive option. But you know what? Even this isn't as far as you can take it. Last up for this style of TNT cannon is a machine that allows for TNT to fall for all of the available time that it has in the air. Meaning, if I tried to build this machine any higher, some of the TNT would explode in mid-air before it would even reach the ground taking full advantage of vertical redstone by stacking glowstone in a zigzag pattern, I'm able to use over 300 pieces of TNT all dropped into a small area to launch me over a kilometer into the air. I mean, if this isn't enough firepower for you, then you're gonna need a nuclear weapons mod or something like that. Absolutely crazy. All right, let's change things up a bit. If you're looking for an even more interesting and modern TNT launcher, this one may be for you. And for this one, I'm going to give you a little tutorial for how to build it. For this TNT cannon, you'll need cobblestone, two pistons, two slime blocks, two repeaters, a dispenser, a button, TNT, and optionally, redstone to create a fuse. All you need to do to create this TNT cannon is place a path of four cobblestone. At the end of the path, aka the back of your cannon, place one cobblestone on top. From there, place a piston facing the front of the cannon on top of the highest cobblestone. And then, at the front of the cannon, place a piston facing up on the ground. On the heads of the pistons, place a slime block. In the middle of all of this, place a dispenser facing upwards. Place a repeater facing the back of the cannon beside the dispenser, and then right-click it once, as you guys can see here. On the opposite side of the dispenser, place a repeater facing the front of the cannon and right click it twice. These settings are absolutely crucial for the machine not destroying itself. After you've made sure these settings are correct, fill the dispenser with TNT, place a button on its side and click it. The TNT should travel a far distance and will explode when landed. To get a bigger blast, you can create the same launcher again on the other side. When either dispenser is activated, the entire machine will work at the same time and launch two TNT instead of one. You can even add a fuse to this launcher and shoot it from a distance. This creation was featured in my slime block creations video, as you guys can see here. Feel free to check it out after this video. 
So apologies ahead of time that I was a little bit sick for this video because I just got back from traveling to Sweden where it was an amazing couple of days. I did vlog it and I do hope to have a video out for that soon. No promises, but I'll see what I can do. So what did you guys think of this? Did you like any of these cannons? Have you tried making any of these before? And did they blow up in your face like they did when I first started making cannons? Think you might try making one for yourself? Let me know in the comment section down below. But other than that, that just about does it for me for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on it because it would really help out myself, Mike, the channel, and the video quite a lot. But anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.